Operation Chocolate Thunder. Oh yeah, that's better. Good morning, guys. Coming to you from the Como Rebbe Garden, or what did we call this garden? The Panvit Garden? I like the Panvit Garden because we totally built this victory garden during the pandemic. Yeah. Panvit. Anyway, it is thriving and there are bees everywhere. You can just hear them just being busy bees. <laughs> um, there is a lot to harvest, so later today I'll bring you guys out here and I'll harvest some of the big stuff. But right now Jake and I are just kind of checking on things. I harvested a bunch of flowers, chamomile, nasturtium, um, zucchini flowers. We got some Swiss chard for breakfast, or actually Jake's going to use it for some bowsas later today. So I'll come back out here and I'll pick some more of the beets and stuff and show you guys around. And yeah, just wanted to say good morning and show you guys my awesome rocking hair. The cilantro will show you it's so cute yeah i'll show you guys the cilantro later today it's so adorable we were a little late to plant it but i think we planted it honestly just in time but it's so adorable and it's like little mini baby ever, cilantro <laughs> first ever uh sea buckthorn berries yeah and it's loaded we first learned about this in the himalayas in india yeah and then i also have our fall beets coming up so i'll show you guys those later today so yeah Let's just get on with it.
I love when the sun does that in the camera. I don't know if you guys like that sun rays. Anyway, back out here in the garden. My hair isn't all crazy in a messy bun anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update tour. Um, it's gonna be really quick of just the things that are popping up um, that we replanted for the winter. And I'm also gonna harvest a couple of things and show you guys something that Jake and I are like really, really excited about. Um, we have three different varieties of these plants and they're starting to show their little lanterns and we're really, really jacked. So yeah, let's just get on with it. Let me show you what's been going on here. So here we have some cilantro that Jake and I planted a couple of weeks ago. We have this little area right here. We just found the seeds and we're like, oh my gosh, let's plant them. <laughs> but they're so cute. I've never seen baby cilantro before, like this small, but it will get bigger. And it already smells so good in this area. If you guys like the smell of cilantro, it just smells fabulous. So all in this area, we have a bunch of cilantro now. So that's new. And we have, this is our salad bed that we picked certain varieties that we really liked to go to seed. So we'll harvest the seeds for next year. And our tomatoes are doing really well. They should be turning red soon, which I'm really excited about. All of our tomatoes and our tires are just going crazy. They are super big and we're gonna have an amazing tomato harvest. And we even have more tomatoes over there behind the Jerusalem artichokes. And over here, if you guys remember, um, I planted some more beets for the fall um, and they're starting to pop up. I'm gonna go through and thin them out here in a little bit. So that's really exciting. I have those popping up for the fall and I'll be harvesting more of these beets to eat. Over in this little corner, we planted some purple bok choy, which they are so cute. <laughs> They're gonna be like purple baby bok choy. So those will be ready in a couple more weeks. They're just so pretty. Right next to these bok choy, we have our purple carrots that we let go to seed. We let um, a handful of them go to seed so we can replant them next year because they were super delicious. And this beautiful plant right here, I'm gonna harvest all the berries. This is um, a seed buckthorn. And Jake and I discovered this plant or the berry when we were traveling through Northern India. And we heard a lot about it, but we actually never got to try it. So this is our first plant and our first harvest. And we have so many on here, so I'm gonna harvest them off. But they taste like a really strong orange. Like it just like, pops in your mouth of just like the citrus taste. And these berries are super high in nutrients. This guy is still, whoa, that was a strong one. So this guy is still in a pot, um, but we are definitely, I think Jake upped the pot size and then next year we'll probably for sure um, find a home for him in the ground and then he'll really take off, so. It is a hot one today. The sun keeps coming in and out, but when the sun is out, it is hot. So I think that's it. That's pretty much all the new stuff that we have coming up. We've been harvesting a ton of zucchinis, nasturtium flowers, nasturtium leaves, and carrots, and beets. Um, I've been harvesting the chamomile flowers that have been coming up. Our potatoes are ready. Our sun chokes are about to flower. The one's right behind us right there in that big bush. We've been having salads like every day. Our mint is doing really well. Our sugar snap peas are starting to die away and I cannot wait for the tomatoes. Like I was saying earlier, they're gonna be super good. I'm like super jacked for tomatoes. We're gonna have so many, so many. So I'll just show you. I just picked a couple of zucchinis and some beets and here are the sea buckthorn and I picked some chamomile and some jasmine flowers. Little garden tour. Here, let me give you guys like a pan of the whole garden without me in the shot.
grown from seed are Phasalis or Incan berries or Cape gooseberries. Doing really well. Loving that sun. There's three different varieties here. Do you like the sun? Hey, how's the garden feeling, looking? Looks good, what I just picked. That one's enormous. Yeah, it's really big. I think the biggest one so far. Wow. There's so many growing though, it's crazy. That's like the perfect size right there. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Babe, those zucchini leaves are, <laughs> are as big as your body. Yeah, they're huge, like this one. Another one. Some of these flowers. Nice. Dinner. Yeah, like these two big ones. And I love taking the afternoon when the sun comes out to just go on a little adventure and so with the adventure boat the striker boat i can go to all these you know private beaches where there's nobody around and i got the whole beach to myself and i just play with the dogs i just actually shampooed him gave him a little bath then they wash off in the ocean and uh i always find interesting things especially when i go out here at low tide like i am right now so let me uh show you the interesting things that i found this time here at low tide, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Got all these amazing stumps washed up on shore. This one in particular looks really incredible. That'd be a great bench. The dogs like it. And then down the way here, it looks like um, one of the logging operations in the area lost a big bundle of logs. So let's go up and check this out. It's massive. All right, guys, come here. Come on, Kai. Good job, Puma. Sit. Stay. Okay, go get it. Good job, guys. Bring it back. Bring it back. Let's go. Come on, bring it back, bring it back. Bring it back. Good job, Kai. Let's go, Kai, come on. Come on, Kai. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Puma. I don't know if the camera can pick up how big they are, but easily this is about double my height. It's maybe 10, 12 feet of logs here. Come already through the trees there.
Guys, let's go. Come on, load up. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, again. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Good. Step over it. 
I mean, this is easily one of the most beautiful boards so far, don't you think? Yep. Wow. I think. So if you guys see me with this bucket following Jake on the chainsaw mill, um, I was collecting the sawdust and that's what this is right here. Um, if you guys are new to our channel, we use this for a lot of different reasons and I wanted to show you guys what we use it for. So one of the things that we use the sawdust for is kitty litter. It works great. And the other thing we use it for is for our composting toilet. And for our compost.
That looks like the same as the other one, right? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Okay. Do you mean you're really gonna hold it though, or do you think it'll stay? Mm. I think it'll stay, like 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 right now. Yeah. But you have to move it. I think it'll be fine. The mosquitoes are supposed to be gone, babe. You told me. I know. I'm sorry. They are during the day. Yeah, they were less, a lot less. How's this gonna look? I think it's gonna look great. Cool. Oh. Does it not look like it? It's like I didn't leave enough lit for me to like <clears throat> put axes and stuff hanging on the wall here and not get wet. On here? Yeah. You have like this much room. I know, it's great. It's perfect. That way, you know, Vancouver Island storms come in and all of our stuff is just right yeah. there. Cool. Ready? Nope. Okay, go ahead. Spot right here. For you holding it? No, just like. Or it just fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can yeah. come down a little bit if you want it to be.
Look what I found. Some chanterelles. Yes, please. And look, there's another one down there. So, I didn't bring a basket because this is kind of just a last minute, I'm gonna walk down the road kind of thing. And I peeked my head in and boom, look at all of these chanterelles. So I think I'm gonna have to take my jacket off and use my my jacket so I can get more. Yay! <laughs> Jake is going to be so jealous but also so very excited. Uh. Woo! I got some goodies in here. I even think I found a Boletus. Yeah. What's your 20? Two minutes, over. <laughs> My screen is starting to like downpour. <laughs> okay, I have a surprise for you. What is this? Lift it. Oh my gosh. Uh, you a found the first bowl of chanterelles of the season. Yeah, and I think I found a boletus. Is that what that is? It is a boletus. Yeah. But do you know what variety of boletus? Obviously it's the worms and slug variety. Yeah. They got it. This is great. These look so good. Mm-hmm. Great job. I know, right? Hey ho, Jake makes video journal entry here. Don't forget, Como Rebbe looked like this. Every one of the acres here looked like this. Overgrown logging camp 40 years later. I can't even walk anywhere. When it's a beautiful fruit tree orchard full of native plants, medicinal edible plants and gardens. Don't forget where it started. I mean, look, everywhere is just like this.
I sure gotta do this. Yeah. We're putting fruit trees in a garden out here, right? Of course. This, this is gonna be our orchard. So the trees have to come down. Even I'm out there, I'm out there stomping around and it's like swamp up to my knees and I just like the earth is down low and all the mulch is caused by humans logging it every 40 years. Like it smells in there a little bit. It's just, we're going to do like so many other species of plant are going to grow up in the light that we create. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck going back there. See Welcome to the Dagobah system. Yoda! Star Wars nerd? No. Yeah. What do you think? Looks good. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Flower child, this is Miyagi. And... Flower child, this is Miyagi. And... <sighs> Here, are you loud and clear, Miyagi? It's normal to feel like I have ticks all over my entire body. Over. Yes, living here, that is for sure. Miyagi's gonna need a shower tonight and then a flower child to pick through his hair and look for ticks. Over. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> sounds sounds lovely. Okay, tell me if the tree moves. Commencing operation chocolate thunder. Over. The rope is tightening, that's good. Okay, can I go further? Yeah, it's starting to lean towards you. We can go a little bit further, but that's that's good. I'm gonna make the first cut and then we'll pull it again. All right, sounds good. Uh...